It's more fun to watch than cats playing piano. It's more boring than the most boring video on YouTube. It's New Jersey's Republican candidates for governor battling it out on YouTube. Hey, you doing, Jersey? Welcome to Ledger Live. I'm here in the office of cartoonist, Star Ledger cartoonist, Drew Shenneman. We're taking a look here at how the two front runners for the Republican nomination for governor, Chris Christie and Steve Lonigan, are taking their message to YouTube. Now, we haven't seen this kind of thing in New Jersey before in a governor's race where candidates can just post their own video. Thankfully. And, and, we're seeing, <laughs> and we're seeing a lot of video being posted, not only by the candidates and the campaigns themselves, but by their supporters. And it's pretty interesting to watch. You can get a real feel for the message that the two of them are trying to get out there by taking a look at some of this Here. stuff. Yeah, this is Chris Christie uh, at a Sussex County kitchen table, and they're talking taxes. No, is that woman looks like she may be falling asleep there. Well, Christie's like a human ambient. I, I sat here watching this and wondering if, if Chris Christie showed up at my door at dinner time, would I let him in or would I just pretend I wasn't there like he was Jehovah's Witness? You know how interesting this is? I'm now more interested in their decorating than I am what he's saying. I found myself too kind of, you know how it's interesting to look into people's windows and you're walking down the street at night, you know, you kind of see what... I found myself watching this and looking in the background just to see what kind of knickknacks and furniture and what I noticed that the, you know the hors d'oeuvres, the crudité. The on crudité, the table. yes. No, uh, untouched. All right, let's let's watch another one. Let's let's, let's go to the another Christie video. Oh, this is a uh, this is one he filmed down in Camden County uh, for a business town hall, which for some reason is being held in like the back storage room. Of a warehouse. It's not a town hall. It's a it's a warehouse. Yeah, it's a warehouse. Business town hall. I, I wonder what what's in all those boxes. Those are all the records that Chris Christie subpoenaed from public officials. I know he's really bringing out his A material here because he got the crowd. Try and count the number of times he says Trenton. <laughs> I think he hit double digits pretty early on. And that will send a real message not only to people in Trenton. Zing. But it was when you look at these now. Here's here's what. Here's what's clear looking at these. It's clear what Christie is trying to do. He's trying to say, I'm connecting with the average voter, right? right? I mean, I'm connecting with the guy in the warehouse. I'm sitting down at kitchen tables. So he's really trying to connect with the, you know, the, the Joe Six Packs of the world with this kind of stuff. All right, should we watch some Lonigan stuff now? Should we switch over and watch some Lonigan? Here we go. Now, here's his Steve Lonigan. This is posted, I believe, by a supporter of his, not by the campaign, but this is Lonigan speaking at the Taxpayer Tea Party. In Piscataway. Yes. Principles on which this nation are built are under attack like never before. That's right. Americans understand that. Big difference of Christie. Stark people contrast. screaming in the background. Well, you got to also keep in mind the people screaming in the background have bags of Earl Grey taped to their oversized novelty sunglasses. He's actually not a bad speaker. He's a good speaker. I think Christie was pretty good in the setting when he was in, too. I mean, that was... The, what, the, the, the Christie warehouse thing looked to me like he's working out his material in front of smaller audiences before he has to go to the big stage. Uh, he seemed in the warehouse a lot more engaged when he's standing up in front of people. The, in front of... When he's sitting at the, the dinner table, it seemed like nobody really wanted to be there. Of which we as a nation this will be good. deposited on the ash heap of history. Deposited on the ash heap of history. If we don't. No to socialism. I saw one of the signs. No to socialism. No to uh, communism. Yes to American capitalism. These are some cheerful looking folks. They're angry. They look angry. I mean, that's the, that's the difference, I'm right? I mean, that. I'm has got a crowd of people who are fired up and who are angry. And look, he's got, and it's not huge numbers, 509 views of this. What did Christie's videos have? Only a couple uh, hundred, the, 100 the, and 200. 100, uh, between 150 and 200. That's the difference, though, right? I mean, you, this is, and this is why a little bit, sort of, Lonigan is sort of nipping at Christie's heels now, because all these people, look at these people, they're all going to vote in the primary. They are. Those guys in the warehouse with Christie, that's the thing. He's going to have a very vocal, very motivated base. Look at that. They got pants on a stick. They're <laughs> fired up. <laughs> all right, this is a video that was not part of the campaign, but was posted by a Christie supporter of Lonigan being arrested at a John Corzine speaking event. This is when Corzine right. was going around pitching his toll plan. Right. And Lonigan got arrested. And he's there with, again, with a loyal group of followers and a bunch of signs. And apparently the signs were the big issue. But this, you can see it. This one's got over a thousand views. 
And there's something strangely off-putting by his overly calm demeanor. And now he gets the cold. Look at the little kid hiding, the scared the kid. The horrified child. <laughs> scarred forever. By an act of civil disobedience. That's no good. The, no, nobody likes the, the feeling of cold steel bracelets. Not that I would know. Is this rare that you're going to have a candidate, video footage of your candidate of choice, being cuffed by the police and hauled off into a police. And uh, not only is it... it, it but he's using it as a promotional thing. I mean, I, I, know, I don't think this is put up there specifically by him, but he certainly doesn't mind that people are watching it. He could have it pulled. I'm sure he could track down where it came from and have it pulled. But that's, you know, this is, again, this is the image that, you know, they're, they're, they're making clear that they you know, want out there. Either, right. You know. He's a, he's, he's a I hate the term, a maverick. Um, he's not afraid to speak up for the little guy. This is as good as watching a cat play piano. Well, Lonigan's good on YouTube. I mean, he's better. You he's know, much better he's than Christie. He's getting more hits, and he's. Now, I would like to see a little bit more production value from these things. Uh, you know, so put some, uh, get some like some catchy music in there, like. Uh, Actually, you know what? I, speaking of music, go back to the other Lonigan video, all the way to the end. Zip all the way to the end. All the way. Pull, pull all the way. way. Listen to the outro. <laughs> Is that twisted sister? Twisted sister. <laughs> You know, whatever I think of uh, uh, American conservatives and civil disobedience, that's the soundtrack that pops in my head. <laughs> 80s hair metal. Chris Christie and Corzine head to head. That's a pretty tough match, but he's got to get past Lonigan, who, like we saw, like we saw here, is going to be able to get people riled up. He needs D. Snyder on his side. Well, I mean, twisted sister. You, you, you buy him dinner, <laughs> D. Snyder will show up anywhere. All right, that wraps up Ledger Live. Listen, we want to hear from you. Ledger Live at StarLedger.com is the email address. Take it easy, Jersey.